And we're 30 seconds away from picking up the countdown. All systems go. Countdown clock will resume on my mark. Five, four, three, two, one, mark. T-minus nine minutes and counting. TLS auto sequence has been initiated. Ground launch sequencer here in the firing room now controlling all of the countdown events. And during the next nine minutes, it will check over 1,000 launch parameters. And the uh, ground launch sequencer is relaying all of the final pre-launch commands to the onboard computers. And then at T-minus 31 seconds, the ground launch sequencer will hand off to Endeavor's onboard computers. Now verifying the... The essential bus source is complete. Copy. Verifying all of our TDRS launch commit criteria are verified. Standing by to retract the orbiter access arm. TLS is go for orbiter access arm retract. JRPS, OTC, yeah, you and I like strip chart recorders. Yes, that's copy. Starting recorders. And standing by now for the auxiliary power unit pre-start. CLT and what? RTC, TLT, ATU, free start complete. We have three gray talk packs. Copy. Preparing now to start the onboard recorders, flight data recorders. flight recorders here in the firing room are now going. Standing by to start the auxiliary power units at five minutes. TLS is go for orbiter APU start. DLT OTC perform APU start. DLT and what? CDR OTC reconfigure heaters. And we're now activating the firing chain on the solid rocket booster and external tank range safety system. And terminating locks, replenishment, and starting liquid oxygen drain back. Uh, heater complete, complete. Copy. 
view of valve heaters now turned off. T minus four minutes. That's the helium purge sequence that prepares the main engines for starting. Going now into the profile test of the flight controls. gimbal the three main engines and check their steering. Oxygen tank on the top of the external tank now being pressurized. And we'll be retracting the Gox vent arm shortly. Verify no unexpected errors. to internal reactants. Pop off. T minus two minutes. Top off of fuel cells terminated. Put a liquid hydrogen tank now on the bottom two thirds of the external tank being pressurized. Cruise visors are closed. One minute, 30 seconds. Down suppression water system is armed. T minus one minute. Final check of SRB commands. Locks and hydrogen fill and drain valves closed. External tank strut heaters off. Potato bay vent doors positioned. Standing by for the handoff to Endeavor's onboard computers. Handoff is complete. Endeavor's computers now controlling. 25. SRB nozzles gimbal to flight position. 20. Firing chain is armed. Sound suppression water system is activated. Rain safety command systems are armed. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7. Ignition sequence start. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And liftoff of the Space Shuttle Endeavor to develop the practical and the beneficial aspects of space. Roger all, Endeavor. Houston now controlling Endeavour's underway on its 11th trip to space. Currently rolling on course for an east-northeast trajectory away from the Kennedy Space Center toward a 39-degree inclination, 153 nautical mile altitude to orbit. Endeavour already traveling 430 miles per hour. Altitude, 2 miles. 
Three engines on board Endeavour have now throttled back to two-thirds throttle to prepare the spacecraft to pass through the area of maximum air pressure and go supersonic. Endeavour speed now 700 miles per hour, altitude four and a half miles, two and a half miles east-northeast of the Kennedy Space Center. Endeavour, go with throttle up. Go with throttle up. Three engines on Endeavour now back at full throttle. Altitude 10 miles. Endeavour traveling 1,400 miles per hour. Eight miles east-northeast to the Kennedy Space Center. One and a half minutes since launch, Endeavour's already used more than two and a quarter million pounds of propellant. The spacecraft weighs less than half of what it did at liftoff. One minute, 50 seconds since liftoff. Endeavour now traveling 2,700 miles per hour. Altitude 24 miles, 24 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Flight controller standing by for burnout and jettison of the twin solid rockets. Booster officer confirms a good jettison of the twin solid rockets. Endeavour now at second stage main engines. Endeavour, performance nominal. Copy nominal. Call confirming that Endeavour's performance to this point is just as planned. All three engines at full throttle. Good hydraulic systems, good electrical systems on board. Endeavour, two engine Marone. Two engine Marone. Endeavour can now perform a transatlantic abort landing if needed. All engines operating well at full throttle. Endeavour speed now 3,500 miles per hour. Altitude 45 miles, 67 miles east-northeast of the Kennedy Space Center. Three and a half minutes since liftoff, Endeavour speed 4,200 miles per hour, 57 miles altitude, 113 miles from the Kennedy Space Center. Endeavour, negative return. Endeavour's now gained too much altitude. And is traveling too fast to return to the Kennedy Space Center in, in the event of a problem. Altitude now 64 miles. Endeavour's trajectory will begin leveling off at this point as it accelerates to the east-northeast along the upper fringes of Earth's atmosphere, more than uh, tripling its current speed over the next four and a half minutes to reach the 17,400 miles per hour required for Earth orbit. Endeavour's current speed now 6,000 miles per hour, 189 miles. Press to ATO. Press to ATO. 189 miles from the Kennedy Space Center.